This is the first meeting since 95 when the Bulls won in this building. Underway, and Ariel Wilson with a basketball for South Florida. Almost a month since the last Bulls home game. Taken away by Marshall. The steal by Rochella Scott trying to go wire to wire. And the thundering herd opens with the lead. There's the Marshall starters, including Scott, who gets on the board first. She is their leading scorer. Cheneke from three with the quick answer coming off a 17-point game against North Carolina State. And she puts South Florida ahead by one. Scott with the three. Boy, here we go. With Elena Chineke, she was telling me yesterday afternoon, she goes, you know, we got challenged different ways playing four top 25 teams. Thank Amentiato. Tend to shoot for the Bulls. And the rebound is pulled down, but Brito, right place, right time. Scott, the transfer from Southeast Missouri State, led that team in scoring last year. And the shots keep falling. A three for Marshall, and they're back up. Yeah, taking advantage of Shineke falling. Dulce had to kind of hedge back a little bit defend-wise. And the quick drain for the bucket. South Florida 8-3 and three on the season. Coming off a loss at NC State, there's Poises. Hedged in nicely off the curl off the screen to get herself open just enough to make that basket. Both teams shooting well. Marshall at 80%, the Bulls at 60%. Cheneke in transition. Mahogany Matthews got the foul. Cheneke to the free throw line. At just under 76%. One out of two. Scott all the way switched hands on the way up. How about that? Switched hands and went up and under and spread out the Bulls defense for that isolation, that one-on-one. -on -one. Look at this cut. Brito to the basket. Scott with the shot clock running down has to oh. unload and she hits it. Rochella Scott with a chance for a four-point play. That could have been any further out. Just a little step back. Chineke played off of her just enough. And the rush to go to the line and make this a four-point play. Already 10 points for Scott. And now 11. Already around the corner. And then your preseason. First team selections. Two for USF. And one of them, Dulce Fanka Mengiato. Civils can't connect. Bulls will set up the half-court offense. Cheneke going to work on Beeman, everything but the shot. Gets her minutes, does the little things on the floor. Cheneke, as you mentioned, uh, Jim, for the USF Bulls, but you never know. They could have a 11 a.m. postseason game. Marshall with a lot of reserves on the floor right now. Jose Fernandez still with the starting five rounding advantage on the season coming in. Marshall has held their own on the board so far, though. Much better switch defensively. Communication there by USF on that series. Coming up on two minutes remaining first quarter. Cheneke with the step and through. Now into the game, and, and Puisis was also in that group. Uh, it looked like Puisis left her feet, but no whistle, and here's Gonzalez on the offense. Puisis coming out with her length, utilizing her length, and you start thinking about that. Gee, I have to catch and shoot quickly, as Sam is doing there. And she <laughs> hits from Bulls extending the defense. Shot clock to 10. Jumper no good. Shot clock turned off. Bulls can play for the final shot of the quarter. See if they slow it down. They do not. And no reason.
is the paint to early on in this game to eventually build this big lead thus far into the second. Marshall more than five minutes without a point. Matthews trying to change that. And now Matthews coming off an 18.8 rebound game against Wright State. An early deficit to build a double digit lead. Another rebound. Cheneke kicks it outside. Here's Wilson. And Cheneke in the middle of the paint to pull the rebound down and take it back outside. Fanka Mengiato, boy, that's a tough defense. And she got behind Fanka Mengiato and can't afford to do that. No, Dulce was so deep into the paint. Nice, easy pass, but look at this with the answer from Michelle Scott. Rochella Scott is now three for four from three tonight. Franco Mengiato kicks it outside. And takes the return. The players really appreciate, on both teams, no question about it, to have uh, this type of atmosphere and the students out here today. And it's not just about coming to watch a basketball team. Only two players have scored for Marshall. Rochella Scott has 16 of their 20. Here's Alvarez, first shot back. This puts even more pressure on the defense. Scott off balance, almost got that one to go. Offensive board and the putback. Alvarez again, a little short with that one. Marshall hanging around here midway through the second quarter. Nice job by Abby Beeman. Played Division II ball at Shepard. The three is up in three threes for South Florida in the half from three different players. Scott launches again. Eight point South Florida lead. First of two home games for the Bulls. They're back here Saturday before heading out to San Diego for more tournament play and more top 25 opponents. They have Ohio State in the first game out there. Johansson with a three. Tell you what, the bench for USF coming in today. Everyone that's had their call of their number has had that solid opportunity as Beeman. Six three-pointers for Marshall. And the Bulls having a challenge trying to pull away here from a very determined Marshall team. Johansson needs some help. Now finds Puisis. Now you talk about her three-point. Beeman into the paint over Alvarez, and Alvarez clears the board. Whoa. Puisis, great <laughs> job to avoid contact there. Williams to the basket, draws the foul. That'll itself from the line so far today. Two out of five. One for two. Less than four minutes to go, second quarter. Fanka Mengiato, Ariel Wilson, Elena Cheneke have all returned and getting free for the easy two. Missed all of last year with injury, coming back strong this year, averaging more than 10 a game. Here's Brito. Fanka Mengiato. Oh, telling us after practice yesterday how, uh, you know, she's been tested by these top 25 teams. Have to be a, a, a little bit more patient and composed when they're hanging on me. Taken away, the steal by Beeman, coming back the other way, and Beeman muscles it. Marshall on a little run here. They've got it down to nine. Matthews off the glass. A great shot coming over the top of Dulce to complete. Ariel Wilson all the way down court, and Gonzalez hustles. 70% free throw shooter, freshman. Bulls bench has played a big part of this first half.
And now Scott. Ariel Wilson with a tough defensive assignment there. Full switch. She gets by Fanka Mengiato and drops into. Matchup has been a fun watch. I, I think that Sammy Puisis has had her hands a little bit full trying to get herself consistently open today to defensively. So again, kudos to Marshall for the tight defense and the communication that they have supported against this UFC squad today. Thundering Herd, 5-3, and two-game winning streak. Beat Wright State their last time out. Marshall is as close as they have been in a while. It's a four-point game. Okay, you don't want to give Matthews that. But let her take the, the three-point shots, put that ball in her hand all day, but you better tighten up inside that paint area and get some length and some hands out on her. 11 for Matthews. Here's Fanka Mengiato. With the spin move, can't get the roll. Franco Mengiato averaging a double-double this year. Points at the free throw line today. That's very, their fourth miss. Yeah, very much so. And uh, solid to have 12 up. Well, Marshall's got a chance now to really tighten things up here. Early third quarter. South Florida lead down to four. Shot clock down to single digits. Kendall Miller finds Beeman. Matthews just in time and off. And the rebound taken by Beeman. Bulls still scoreless in this corner. Right with a follow and that. Marshall takes the lead. And the Bulls will have an out-of-bounds play. Well, as impressive as the Bulls were for the first two quarters offensively, they haven't got much going in the third. Alvarez. Opening up that seam a little bit better for the shooter. Nice pass by Beeman, but LaFon can't connect. Got Chineke in the in the opposite corner there. Alvarez. Whistles first, shot is good. The three and the basketball. And all of a sudden, it's a five-point South Florida lead. Alvarez now with nine points, three of four behind the arc. Cheneke all the way to the basket. Bulls have played five in a row away from home. Not all of them true road games. Some were neutral court, but been almost a month since they've been in the Yingling Center. Another great feed from Beeman. Going to be part of working her back into the lineup, limiting her minutes as she comes back. There's a bit. And that will be the fourth foul on Mahogany Matthews. She had just re Less than three minutes to go, third quarter. Cheneke to the basket, drops it in. Scoreless after a 21-point first half. Bulls turn it over. And Marshall coming back with two minutes left in the quarter, and that'll be a foul on a sense. Yet another player who... Just trying to get some shots up and working on her footwork and shots. Special time of the year, too, Jim, with the players not being in class. They can focus completely right now on basketball. And Poises hits the three. Uh, you know, they're playing a tougher schedule. They've got four top 25 teams in a row. Come back here. They had the opportunity to charter to a couple of those a couple of those games, and then the tournament down in Fort Myers. Thank you, Mengiato. That next level, and uh, I think this time outside of class right now for these players to be able to focus on hoop just helps at the end of the day. Wow, that bad taste about five years ago for Jose Fernandez, that was enough. And he made sure that he and his staff, so that the committee cannot... Pick apart the non counted in front of us to start this fourth quarter of play. But, yeah, you're absolutely right. Maria Alvarez, uh, who is watching the start 
Probably their best win was on the road against top 25 Texas, but they had a thriller at home against Alabama as well. Gonzalez from long range. On that one, but he is quite confident uh, with his entire team. They're a bunch of workhorses. They really are, especially on their own time on the floor. He never has to tell them to get in the gym. Well, you know there'll be battles for playing time. You better bring it and yeah, practice absolutely. every day or you're going to be left behind on game day. I think every player on this roster knows that. Fanka Mengiato. Scott hot off the glass and Gonzalez the rebound. Williams kicks it off to Cheneke in the bowl. Preseason all-conference once again. And helping the Bulls out to a 17-point margin here with a little over six minutes to go. Beeman has had a really nice game for Marshall. Gets it inside. and that... Due to her foul situation, they have needed her on the floor. Matches up Fanka Mengiato. 14 points for Matthew. Arno to the glass, Brito to the boards, and the putback. Mostly 40-year-old players back home, Euro League. Look out. Matthews with the easy two. On that. Williams from three. And Sivils comes out with a rebound. Rochella Scott with 24, Matthews with 16. All trouble there really, it really could have changed the dynamic of this team. More coming up for Beeman. And, and he working with Maria and just, you know, trying to get that confidence and stuff. And, you know, you hit it on the head. It's, it's, it's going through the thought process on the floor right now up against an opponent, recognizing where Beeman is right now on the floor, checking to make sure she doesn't have to help out and hedge inside defensively. Two more for Rochella Scott. She leads all scorers with 26. Bulls in no particular hurry here with 135 to go. Williams for three. She has eight. That's her second three of the game. It's the tenth of the day for the Bulls. Matthews through traffic, and that'll be a set. You're right, Leah. This game kind of turned. Bulls running out of time. Williams beats the buzzer, and the rebound pulled down by Beeman. Matthews off the glass. Tough spot. Somebody's yeah. got to come back to it. Needs some help. Now taken away by Rochella Scott. Off the glass and in. Tough That's, spot. Somebody's yeah. got to come back to it. Needs some help. Now taken away by Rochella Scott. Off the glass and in, two more for her. Comes up hobbling though, Jim. 28 for Rochella Scott, one of the better offensive games we've seen on this floor this year. Williams will hold it, zeros on the clock, and South Florida knocks off Marshall in a hard fought victory here at the Yingling Center today. Well, Leah, great atmosphere with a big crowd.